I'm going to go over quickly uh, how to prepare your pans when baking a cake. Uh, some recipes will tell you just to simply grease a pan. So when, they, when it says that, I'm just going to take some solid shortening and I'm going to rub it all over the pan. And you don't want to miss any spots uh, where the, um, the food will stick to them. So you just go over it lightly over the whole pan, the sides. Okay, now that is just greasing the pan. Now a lot of them, mostly for cakes, it will say grease and lightly flour. So if, in that case, I'm going to take a little bit of flour and spoon into the pan and then you gently tap the pan all around so that flour goes in and just coats the sides and everything. And then when you're finished with it, you want to just kind of tap it back into your container or in another pan. If you're doing several pans, you do it like that. So as you see, it's just a light grease and uh, a light flour. Now I like the solid shortening. Um, I never use butter. Rarely ever do I use butter on a pan because the butter will burn at a lower temperature. Also, I don't really like the oils in the pan because they absorb too much flour. And when I bake a cake, I want only a light grease and a light flour. Now, a lot of them that I bake, I will do a grease and then I will line it with parchment paper and then you need to grease again. So let me show you how I go about doing that. First I want to get a little more shortening out and we'll rub it all over the pan, even on the bottom. And I will show you why I do the bottom. Now I need to cut some parchment paper in the, to fit in the bottom. So I'm just going to set it in. Um, I line mark one, but if I need two, I cut two, or if I need three, I cut three all at the same time. So I just go around here with the pen, and I use a marker because a lot of the pencils and pens don't show up on the parchment paper. See how I did it here? So now I'm just going to take the scissors and cut all three pieces at one time. for all three pans. Now, this one, the one I marked, may have a little bit of ink on it, so I'm going to take it and put that side down in the pan. And the reason I greased the bottom of the pan is to hold that parchment paper in good while I grease it again. As you can see here, it, it sticks to the bottom since I've greased it. Now, You'll need some more, a little more grease to go over. You want to re-grease the bottom. And you can just go over the sides again and make sure that it's all covered. And now you want to flour this with the parchment paper in there. I like to do uh, do all my cakes this way because the um, when you take the cake out, it doesn't stick to the bottom at all. And without the parchment paper, occasionally you'll get uh, some of the cake stuck to the bottom. So you just want to tap it, and then I'm going to tap the excess flour back in the box. And you can see you can't hardly see the parchment paper in there. But when you take your cake out, nothing will stick to the bottom. And then after you turn the cake out, you just gently pull that parchment paper off. And it's very easy. It's much easier than the wax paper. 